Welcome to the SEMGRIP Quick Start Tutorial. SEMGRIP is a static analysis tool that can scan over 17 languages at ludicrous speeds, all to help you and your organization find bugs and enforce code standards. SEMGRIP looks like the code you write. There is no complex DSL here. So let's check it out. Say you have a code base and you want to write a SEMGREP pattern to find every time the program prints hello world. And the corresponding SEMGREP pattern then is just print hello world. It looks just like your code. Pretty cool, right? Now let's try a different example. Say you have a function foo that takes in a variable number of arguments. And you want to write a SEMGREP pattern that finds all instances of that function when it has the argument buzz regardless of what other arguments it actually has. Enter ellipses. Ellipses are how SEMGREP abstracts away aspects of the code to help you generalize your rule sets. To find all instances of your function foo, construct a SEMGREP pattern that looks like foo, ellipses, buzz, and ellipses. The SEMGREP pattern would find all of these different variations, but would not find foo baz. SEMGRIP can take abstraction even further with metavariables. Metavariables are an abstraction to help you match code when you don't know the value or contents ahead of time. Let's look at an example. Say you want to match all expressions where x equals something, regardless of what's on the other side of the equality. To do this, use the following SEMGRIP pattern. x equals a metavariable y. This pattern would find x equals 1, x equals 2 plus 3, and much, much more. Combining these two SEMGREP fundamentals, let's take a look at a more complex example, which matches on this code. Feel free to pause the video and figure out how it works. With these fundamentals in your toolkit, this just begins to show you how powerful SEMGREP is and how it can help you catch bugs and maintain best practices. Check out our tutorials if you'd like to learn more, or visit the playground to write your own rules in real time. Thanks for watching!